Well, shooters and reloaders out there, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And today we're going to do the Savage Model 11 VT 308 Project, Chapter 12. Establishing Bullet Seating Depth, COL. Now it turns out that this video is all about Hornady. And as you've already seen, we've talked about the Hornady Lock and Load Headspace Comparator Kit already. That is used to establish the headspace settings for our dies, whether we're doing the bump sizing or neck sizing, this kind of thing. Now I have the anvil on order to allow me to use this easier to get the readings. Now to determine the bullet seating depth for the rifle, we're going to use the Hornady bullet seating depth gauge. This used to be called the Stony Point bullet seating depth gauge, but Hornady bought that. Now the way this gauge works is that you go ahead and loosen this little set screw here that allows this center stem to slide back and forth. The stem goes all the way through the gauge and they have one model that's straight for bolt actions and then the curved one for other types of actions but if you get the curved one it's more versatile. So this stem should be backed off all the way. Then you go ahead and get these designated cases that are specific for your caliber. What they've done is they've modified it by drilling out the head and then threading it so that it goes onto this gauge and you just thread it down until it bottoms out against this measuring ledge. Now what that does is allows you to put a bullet in there and then that bullet can extend out and until it hits the rifling. So you back off the stem and then gather the bullets you're going to get the measurements for. So we're using here the Sierra 168 grain hollow point bow tail match bullet and also the Nosler 165 ballistic tip. So what you do is you drop one of these bullets into the case and you see it's way down underneath where the uh, this, the seating depth would be to touch the rifling. Then you insert this case into the rifle's chamber and then you push this stem so that the bullet comes out until it hits the rifling in the, in the barrel. And when you have that, then you can set this, lock this set screw and then take the case out and then replace the bullet. And then you can go ahead and measure your COL. Or what I like to do is use the Hornady lock and load bullet comparator because the advantage of the comparator is that it takes the reading off of the ogive instead of the bullet tip that might be inconsistent because you've got maybe plastic tips and this kind of thing. So let's go ahead and back this off, let the bullet drop down into the case and then we can go ahead and I'll show you how to take that reading. So here you take your case and your bullet and you go ahead and place it into the chamber like so. And then you have to make sure that you've got the shoulder of that case firmly into the chamber. Then you go ahead and extend the stem now there you see we've bottomed out. So the bullet is now contacting the lens in the barrel. Now we lock the set screw. Then we go ahead and take the case out. And there you have the distance to the lens for this bullet. Happens to be the 168 match Sierra. And the comparator gives us a reading of 2.224. Now with the Nosler, from the base to the tip, we're getting a measurement of 2.770. And the comparator gives us a reading of 2.153. When the comparator is used, 
you have to try and keep it as square as possible for the most accurate reading. So here are the results taking multiple readings. The Nosler 165 grain ballistic tip, the COL is 2.770 with the comparator is 2.153. Sierra 168 grain match bullet, 2.764 COL and 2.224 comparator. Now why is this important? Because for instance, the Lyman reloading manual gives us a maximum overall length or a COL of 2.810. If we load our bullets at 2.810, we're going to be too long. Plus, if we know exactly the distance to the lens, we can seat our bullets back by 0 0.006 to 0 0.009 for maximum accuracy. So uh, that's important information to have. Now the Hornady bullet comparator actually comes with six different inserts so that it will accommodate a lot of different calibers. Well, once we get used to using this equipment, we can get consistent results. Plus, by taking multiple readings, we can get accurate results. Knowing the distance to the lens is very important information to have as we proceed in actual reloading the 308 Winchester 4R Savage Model 11 VT rifle. Chapter 13 to follow.